up guys here we are again for another reaction so today we are ready to continue our journey's own reactions to tv shows and the tv show we are having in front of us is a new tv show i'm starting my channel uh battlestar galactica so is you now the tv show i decided to go with regarding sky fi um yes i was you know a couple weeks ago i put it a pool in my community section you guys know to help me out on which uh, sky fi uh, tv show related i uh, should go with doctor who won but it's not my thing guys uh, to be honest uh, i start watching the first you know the first episode the first 20 minutes of the episode uh i straight away figure out okay this is not my thing because even though it's, if it's sky fi uh, there is comedy and i like darker stuff you know it's my thing even though i i think i would receive more views for uh, Doctor Who, if I uh, want to spend you now a good 45 minutes every week on something, I also need to choose things that I feel connected with. You know, I like comedy, but in movies, you know. So because I know a movie, I will be watching, uh, you know, from time to time. You know, so comedy from time to time is acceptable. But every week or every day or every week in this case, yeah, to to watch comedy related with sci-fi is is not my thing, guys. I like sci-fi, I like uh, twists, I like, uh, uh, you know, a thrilling suspense, uh, you know. So and I believe by watching the thriller of the uh, the Battle Star Galactica, uh, you know, I I felt, uh, you know, some connection with, you know. I had, uh, you know, the expense in or on my, no, my horizon as well. Uh, but I decided to go with uh, Battle Star Galactica to keep uh, on track with, um, you know, uh no old generation you know old school i know i could have gone with star trek instead but yeah that like uh, is something that i will be doing afterwards i'm not going before the 2000s so far i reacted to only uh you know, tv shows uh, after the 2000s but in the future i'll be going with you know definitely uh you know in this case star trek but for now, let's go with this TV show. I'm pretty sure I'll be amazed. Uh, I did some research online regarding best TV shows, sci-fi genre. Uh, this TV show was all the time and all uh, pages that I opened. Top three. So guys, this says all, yeah? Yes, I could say something about it. Uh, and I can, like, basically I think this show will be how mankind would live and deal with you know uh, situations on a daily basis up there you know i think this is a, a period of time of mankind uh maybe like what 300 years from now guys like i said uh i can't continue giving assumptions but i'm pretty sure will not be the right one so best thing i can do is to watch you know an episode and in the end as always i'll make a you know a nice uh you know a review give my thoughts a nice conclusion to you know, sort it out anything that is not clear so far regarding this TV show. Before we do so, before we jump to the actually episode uh, one of Battle Star Galactica, please give me your love energy by subscribing to my channel. This one click will make me much more happy and stronger. So keep you know right in mind to give you things you guys almost every day. And yes, as always, hope you're having fun and let's do this guys, let's do this. Previously on Battle Star Galactica. Hmm. Previously, Jesus. Do you have any idea what they will do to me if they find out? That's a playboy. Jesus, they got fucked. Guys, what is this? Why uh, episode one? They're telling us something about something that just happened. They could be sleeper agents programmed to perfectly impersonate human beings until activation. Cool, yeah. Yeah. How you call the, those guys? The Transformers. They can like become whatever they want to become. So basically, I think this couple, what I get from this intro, they died, but he's still alive, and somehow he can't see her still, like, but he's not, like, clear for the others, just for him. On, on his head, kind of, you know? There you go. This girl! Jesus! He, she was also on The Mandalorian. She is just on so many TV shows. Wow, looks good. You know? Special effects, not bad. 1004, yeah? You can tell this guy, you know, pretty sure he's the leader of the spaceship. He had a, a, you know, a tough 
puberty by the way you face your skin looks like. Come on. God has a plan for you guys. He has a plan for everything and everyone. Gaius. That's the guy's name. Gaius. I like that. Passengers, 30 seconds to Mars. Planet, 30 seconds to Mars? That's a fucking uh, band name. I believe in a world I can and do understand. A rational universe. I love you, that's not rational. I don't get it, like, they died on that, like, I don't know, clip that they show us. You're also not really here. Like I mentioned. Not mine. Ego, now that am I. The fuck? Prepare for our faster than light jump, thank you. Okay, here you go. So, he can... Maybe it was his, like, a vision, a memory, a dream. Why did the silence come every 33 minutes? Why isn't it 34, 35? Kelly. What? Go. What's gonna happen? An explosion? It's about to happen, yeah? Wow! Light speed. The silence. I wonder. Sounds might be like a race. Hopefully they look like aliens, actually. No, momentarily. Ego, yeah. She's not dead, actually. Provable facts. <laughs> People, they think he's crazy. Who wouldn't? Don't stray beyond the recovery line. This girl, she's thick, you know? Wow, Star Wars shit right here. Looks good. Here you go, wow. Okay, yeah, they are using the same methods as, you know, they use in Star Wars, light speed. It's not expecting the technology to be this advanced in this show. You got 32 minutes, people. He's fucking obsessed by her. Who wouldn't? Look how gorgeous she is. Played by a bunny. The Cylons will follow us again, as they have the last 237 times. Eventually you'll make a mistake. And then you'll kill us all. Confused a little bit about this. No, this shot they are giving with the clock. Here you go. Yeah, you can tell the special effects 2000s, beginning 2000s. Straight away. He's resembling the special effects of Phantom Menace or even Attack of the Clones. Revenge of the Sith uh, special effects, they are you know, on point already. Like, was the moment that all you'd uh, reach a new level of special effects. How many hours without sleep? 130 hours without sleep. Combat landings expected again to be the uh, order of the day. So, look, you've all done this 237 times. Wow. So they are going into combat right now. And they have won all the times that they went to combat, to war. They won those 237 times. Or at least there you go. That's the guy, might be like their leader, Ons. Oh, these sets. All made for this uh, show. For the latest, the Cylons look like us now. They say Cylons look like us now. So they might look like human beings as well, Cylons. You know what? I don't give a frap. <laughs> a little rough on the new ECO, do you think? It's not my ECO. Some refugee from Triton that I've been saddled with and I didn't ask you. She's like the Italian temple woman type. How many have you got? 5,251 survivors from Sagittarius last camp. We can't transmit photos yet. So if you want, you can leave them here with us and put them on the board outside. They have families out there. They sometimes they try to send. In this case, she wanted to send some pictures. They can send letters and stuff. Here you go. This might be the people who died, yeah. Tribute. Wow, it's like a cemetery where they come and they pray. The thing is, like, the environment doesn't look like a space type of environment. It looks like more... Looks very like, uh, you know, very ground. They don't look like they are in space, actually. I don't like how exactly it works uh, out to be inside of a spaceship, you know, so I cannot judge. I wonder what that number represents, what that number stands for. It's a huge number. Do you want children, Gaius? I like the name Gaius. No. I want us to have a child, Gaius. Can they have a child if she doesn't fucking exist? Can I have a child, you know, on his mind? I was just saying that uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Amarak had requested to speak with the president. 
backup primer I can see. It, it says here that um, he's uncovered important information regarding how the Cylons were able to defeat colonial defenses. Must be very, very important. Maybe something about a certain traitor in the president's inner circle? She had that Matty McConaughey stuff. <laughs> I'd say you have a serious problem. If I can help. He's a strange one, isn't he? But uh, something happened for him to be able to have her on his head. Because he doesn't even look like someone, you know, uh, physically able to conquer a woman like that, you know? So, someone is evil. Fucking Robo. No way. Hey, guy, I like this. Yes, give me that shit. I want to see creatures, man. Robos and stuff. This is what, you know, should be on space. Especially like with this, you know, technology being so advanced. There you go. Oh yeah, this guy, you know, is a machine on field. These robots, they are the, the silence. No way. Why they mentioned they were becoming more like human beings? Maybe the way they think? Because on the outside they are fucking terminators. Yes, they are robots, the silence. And they were able to gain a consciousness and to create a colony and stuff. Okay. Maybe they have like a human being behind to give them orders, education and stuff. Possibly. Is this is my 10 minutes or is this yours? Yours. I took 10 last time. 10 minutes of what? I believe it was your 10 minutes. The old man's so tired he can't remember that it's his turn. <laughs> Kara, everyone else. I don't fly with stems. Come on, Kara, give me a break. Just. Why are we arguing about this? I have no idea. Neither do I. You're the keg. Act like. What the hell does that mean? So she either says yes, sir, and obeys a direct order, or you smack her in the mouth and you drag her sorry ass down to sick bay and you make her take those pills. Wow, I like this. Kind of like she doesn't want him to be nice to her. Well, I'm glad I'm not working for you. Okay, she was pretending. Wow, that is acting, my friends. But I'll, no, sometimes I understand. Like, when you are going to war, you don't need nice words. You need someone to. Kick your ass so your ass get like you know, already warmed to be kicked because that's what's gonna happen out there. Anti radiation. That's the girl. Wow. So don't tell me she's working with them. Don't tell me she's actually their leader. One civilian ship missing and unaccounted for, sir. Which one? The Olympic carrier. How many people aboard ship? 1,345 souls, sir. Yes, the Cylons keep coming after us time after time. And yes, we are still expected to do our job. This number stands for what? The people that they lost already? Because if they change this number now, so maybe already 50,000 people died? Good. First, where's the doctor that's supposed to be on board? What's his name? He was on the Olympic carrier. Dr. Amorak posed a threat to you. Now he's gone. Logic says there's a connection. He's gone? So that guy died? The doctor? They were matching on, on board. That which God gives, he can also take away. You can tell, you know, the environments, the sound tracks. He's beginning of 2000s TV show. That's the magic behind movies and TV shows. Bring us to those type of periods, you know? Get me the president. Was it something that you did? We had a new plan, but we didn't have time to implement it. So she's the president. Okay. So now we are sorted. What do we do now? Commander, I've got people on the verge over here. And how long do we um, stay? A condition two. Until I'm satisfied they're not going to return. Condition two? So condition two might be like... You know, a stage they are on right now, depending off like the danger are surrounding them. Order is on the pilots to land immediately. Hey Apollo, not that I'm not you know? honored by being chosen to sit in my cockpit for the next three hours. Can you imagine actually like, you know, pilot one of those ships on space, the feeling? There's no rules, there's no police. Can you imagine? Greatest contact, bearing 348, Karam 120, one ship. It's the Olympic carrier, sir. The fleet into condition one. I want all vipers manned and ready, but keep them in the tube. Invasion, yeah? It's God's punishment for your lack of faith. Okay. Oh, that's just great, that is. God, faith, you know, is very present in this show. 
The Olympic carrier has been infiltrated by Cylon agents. You go. The Olympic carrier should be destroyed. Guys, she's on his head, making him against the Olympic carrier. Guys, that's the thing. That's why she appeared in that scene with that guy on the forest with the Cylon. She's working with the Cylons. Olympic carrier, can you be more specific? I'm afraid I can't. He says he knows something about a traitor and I strongly recommend that we cut off all wireless communication with that ship right away. He go, yeah, because he's in, you know, the betrayal. There's probably a Cylon agent aboard right now! Calm down! Yeah, guys, I'm getting now. Cut off radio communication with that ship before they send via broadcast signal another computer virus to infect our ship shortly before they blow us all. Wow, he was persuasive. Yes, Madam President, and I'm inclined to agree with Dr. Baltar. Thank the gods you're with us. God's got nothing to do with this. God's got nothing to do with this. Start thinking like she might be a god. That's why she's always mentioning about gods and fate. She is inside of his head, starting to put you know, pieces together. If the ship poses a threat to us, we have to eliminate that threat. Wow, we have a fight here. I suggest that we evacuate the passengers and destroy the ship. Dreadus contact, strike that. Multiple Dreadus contacts. Hit the silence. That's the, the, the silence ship, yeah? Yeah, that makes sense. We have to eliminate the Olympic carrier. There's no choice. It's either them or us. Repent of your sin. Accept his true love and you will be saved. That woman is hard to deny what she's mentioning because she's fucking gorgeous. I repent. What's the meaning of repent? Here you go, nobody. The silence will be here any second. If we're gonna do this, let's just do it. Please, come on. They don't have enough authority to destroy the youth ship. If they hit the, the, the motors, yeah, the motors will help destroy the spaceship itself. Okay, not bad, not bad. Let's hope that they were not actually there, you know, the, the 1,300 civilians. Yeah, I want to see more of about this guy, this scene, with her, in the silent. Hey, well, it's alright, I'm fine. Again, another one that she will try to brainwash, to be inside of his head. Here you go. She got shot. By a silent. No, here you go. He was about to have fun. Maybe not. But just move, mister. Why just appear now? Another one! Okay. The attack of the blown clones. Madam President. This soundtrack reminds me of a lot of the things. 24 hours, no silence. I'm sorry, Billy. I think I'd like some time alone, please. Of course. I you know have a great impression about this president. She's one of the goods. So far, the two leaders, they seem good people. Actually, you can add one. Um, a baby was born this morning on the rising star. Here you go. That's the thing. The number that they were writing was the number of fatalities, you know? But now you mentioned to add one because one baby was born. I wonder from who? Three? Huh. Or maybe not. Maybe they were 50,000 and so far died 2,000 something. Yeah, makes sense. Oh guys, great TV show, you know, I'm happy that I decided to go with this TV show, looks good, I like the way they started with the first episode, uh, I'm like curious to see more about, you know, the, the reason behind the relationship between that guy, that girl, you know, the blondie, so, wow, now in the end we've got to know that she is actually working for the silence, and somehow the silence they were able to uh, found a way to enter in people's head and that's what she was trying to do with that guy that you uh, know uh, was saved by this girl that killed the blondie you know so the guy that uh, that they have on that spaceship that is always like you know having those memories or visions with her is actually a guy that they are using to try to uh, destroy uh, you know our guys you know yeah, that's, this is what the Silons are, they are trying to do. They figured it out that the weakness of a man is a blondie, is a pretty gorgeous woman. Yeah, I like the, the way the show, you know, decided to do things. Of course, no better thing to persuade a man than a gorgeous woman, you know? The, no, the special effects, they look, you know, good. 
they don't look perfect or great, but I'm pretty sure if this show goes until 2009, we will be having more, you know, some improvements because if you compare the 2002 Star Wars to 2005 Star Wars, you can see a relevant difference. So I'm pretty sure second season might be much better than the first season in terms of like the quality of the visuals, you know, in this case special effects. But yes, I'm I'm liking uh, uh, the plot so far. I'm not really like you know clear. Might do research afterwards, but yeah, this is uh, them trying to survive out there, and their uh, you know enemy is a silence. Uh, let's see, like, but this is a war between mankind and machines. The machines they want to take over. They are the the villains, and you no know, mankind wants to, of course, maintain their race uh on on the universe and they will do everything to to stop whatever is uh threatening uh no, our race no mankind so that's what's up this is like a you know uh tv show regarding uh, the survival of the mankind in a time period far far away from now because they can even use that light speed uh trick with those huge spaceships so this is not like something that you know we can do straight away when we'll be able to go to you no know, to the outer space you know so this is really advanced this is really like 10,000 years uh, after Christ you know something like that so yes guys I'm curious to see how well this episode will do my channel like I'm curious to see the support I'm curious to see the, the fan base regarding this TV show uh, I think this TV show will grab attention for a lot of people, people that was born in the 90s, people that was born in the uh, no, 80s, especially people who was born in the 80s, you know? So, yes. Guys, yeah. Uh, I'm going to stay. 13 episodes, a lot of things will happen, a lot of twists, a lot of uh, you know, betrayals. It's looking like a TV show for those things to happen. Yes, guys, enough talk. As always, for this video, press like button, comment if you think you're gonna miss something, say something dumb. Should know something about this episode before I put it to the side without spoiling me. Uh, you know, eventually about what's coming ahead. Please don't spoil me. Share with a friend. They might like to watch someone else uh, reacting to this uh, incredible TV show and more others that I'm reacting right now and they'll be reacting in the future. And subscribe to my channel. Give me love energy. So keep strong. The right minute to continue things for you guys. And yes, it's always a fun. And most important of all, stay safe, guys. Have a good one. Thank you.